I feel comfortable saying I have already tried almost every single meat there is. If you are new to my channel, welcome. One thing you gotta know about me is that I love steaks. I can honestly tell you I have tried almost all of them. And today I'm gonna be sharing with you my most memorable cooks. And I'm only doing this for one reason because by the end of this video you're gonna witness the best of them all. So let's do it. One of my very first cooks in over two years ago was one of my favorites. It was when I introduced to you guys the queen of all meats, aka picanha. And if for any reason you have not heard of this cut, I urge you to check out a video in the description down below later on. And that cook was amazing. Then I jumped in to try to make my steaks taste better. I've used mayo on it, compound butter, and even a salt block. There are so many experiments that it would just be an entire video of mentioning every single one of them. But in the end, they all have taught me one lesson. Always have an open mind. All of this gave me confidence to start trying some expensive cuts. And if you know beef, nothing gets better than Wagyu. And my very first experience with it was a Wagyu Marilyn Score 7 from Australia. Even though I say the country Australia, these steaks are 100% Japanese breed. They are not by any mean mix. They are all full blood Wagyu. And those steaks were amazing. Right after that, I was craving for something even better. And that's where my dry aging experiment began. And my very first dry age was this one. By the time that was done, I was hooked. After doing many different types of dry aging experiment, including butter and several different others, all gave me confidence to start dry aging the most expensive meat in the world. And the very first one was a picanha Wagyu Marbling Score 5. That cook I will never forget. Right after, I jumped into dry aging a New York strip Marbling Score 7 from Australia. And I can still taste that steak. That was something else. Then I jumped into the best of the best, Japanese Wagyu A5 which is the highest marbling score there is. This one steak can make vegans convert to carnivores. And when I tell you it is the best of the best, I mean it. And obviously as a progression of this channel, I had to dry age it. And if I had to describe it in one word, it would be wow. There is no other word I can think of that will do its justice. And I urge you to give that a try. And all of these amazing experiments and cooks led me to today. I want you to understand that I've done a lot of cooks. I've cooked all these amazing steaks and many more that I haven't even mentioned. But today I am cooking the best of the best. And I couldn't be more excited to share it with you. So let's do it. This is an Australian Wagyu Marbling Score 9. Even before opening the packaging, you can see the marbling. To be honest with you, after having a Marbling Score 5, I never thought this would happen. Just opening the package got me super excited. And once it was opened, this is what it looks like. The first thing I like to do is do some light trimming. This meat is so highly marbled that it does not need a lot. So slowly work your knife around it and cut out the silver skin and any connective tissue that does not belong. But once I was done, this is what it looks like. I want you to take a closer look at this marbling. To me, it looks exactly like Japanese Wagyu A5. And if you ever watched any videos about me on picanha, you gotta always cut it with the grain. And the only reason for that is that your final cut gets to be cut against the grain, giving you the best possible bite. I cannot help myself but to cut this one against the grain. I really want to see what the marbling looks like. So I am going against my own rules. And once I cut the first slice, this is what it looks like. I mean, come on. This is the most beautiful piece of meat I've ever seen in my life. As I was cutting the steaks, this got me thinking. With a meat with such high marbling like this, does it matter what way you cut it? If you cut it against the grain or with the grain, it's so well marbled and tender, what differences does it make? Honestly, I don't think it will matter. And to test my theory, I'm gonna cut these with the grain. This will let us know once for all if a high marbling meat like this will make any difference. To keep the seasoning simple and traditional, I only season it with salt, nothing else. But now that I have my beautiful steaks ready, I'm going to be cooking them in direct heat. I'll basically be putting a nice beautiful sear on them and enjoy them as is. But now that you have seen and witnessed all the journey I've experienced with wonderful meats, it is time for me to say enough talking and let's cook the queen of all meats. So let's do it!
All right, everybody, here I have the queen of all queens. What do you think, Angel? Oh my God, I actually have not had Viganya <laughs> in so long. We have not haven't eaten the queen on camera in a very long time. I've eaten, but I haven't made for you. Because, uh, listen. You ate? Yes. Without me? Yeah, because Picanha? my kids will not eat any other cut. That's all they like. Wow. Picanha, picanha. So, no so picanha. They they like <laughs> picanha. Angel? Angel? Chicken. Yeah, chicken. There you go. Turkey. <laughs> Turkey, exactly. <laughs> Sorry about the turkey, dude. <laughs> All right, let's go for it. Let's give it a try. Let's go. Yes. Cheers, Cheers. everybody. <laughs> Very few things in life makes me smile like this. This is one of those that you got to enjoy oh, the geez. moment. <laughs> Yo, I'm not sharing with nobody. <laughs> These on the table right now is only for us. As you guys saw it, I cooked the whole Woo! thing. And the family is already having theirs. And I don't know if you'll be able to hear them screaming. I can hear it. Man, that. Okay, listen to me. Listen to me very carefully. When I first started the channel, I said that the best cut of meat is picanha. And I still stand by that by a million percent. There's nothing better than picanha. Ribeye, New York strip, tenderloin, I don't care what it is. Picanha is the best cut. And this is the... Stop, stop. Yes? This is the most fatty picanha I've ever <laughs> had in my life. This is the highest picanha I've ever cooked. Score marbly 9, almost equal to Japanese Wagyu A5. I was going to say it tastes... Better. You can say it. <laughs> Look, I'm going to be honest too, all right? This is better than Japanese Wagyu you A5. Right, if you think that I'm kidding it, try it, and you will be with me. I agree 100% with you. It's better than A5. I wanted to say it, but I was like, uh, should you say it? <laughs> I don't know. Listen, this is three times better than Japanese Wagyu A5. I can't even say Wagyu A5. <laughs> Bro, this is... Forget about Japanese Wagyu A5, everybody. If I ever gave you a recommendation to try something, it's going to be this one. Because this is amazing. What do you think, Angel? Look at Angel. Look at how happy that boy is. That boy is dreaming right now. <laughs> that boy is in heaven. He's taking a nap in heaven. And whatever it is that you do in heaven, that's what you're doing right now. <laughs> that is amazing all the way. The best steak I've ever eaten. You ask me, Google, what about dry age? Forget about dry age. Give me a Japanese one. I know what you're going to say. What if? Oh, my God. I'm sorry, bro. Uh, you want me to dry age this? I know what he's going to say. <laughs> Emilio. Uh, I don't Can we get have... one more, please? <laughs> we have to get two, though, so that we can compare it to see if it's worth it. Look, I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> Emilio, please, bro. Look. <laughs> Dude. Look, we are we the dry need to age people. Them. And we need to establish if it's better or not. But I can tell you right now, Japanese Wagyu A5, dry age versus picanha, you pick. No chance. No chance. This is better. This is the best steak we've ever eaten in our lives. I can eat this every single day of my life. And it's not even like so fatty that it's like too fatty. It's... It's amazing. <laughs> it does not get old at all. I'm going to eat it all. Now, okay. All right, hold on. We got to try the second one to see if there's any difference. He can. He can. Look at this boy's face. Mm. <laughs> it's too good to give you guys a fair explanation. It's something you have to experience. And the wonderful thing about like it butter. is that it's just like butter. It melts in your mouth with a nice and wonderful taste. Okay. Now, there's a difference between them. This one might be actually a little bit better. Are you ready to try it? I'm never not ready for something like that. <laughs> I want to. I want your honest opinion. All right, you tell me. Go for it, Angel. Let's see which one is better, A or B. Go. Cheers, Cheers everybody. I'm going to hold on. I know what you're gonna say. I am sorry for what I did. <laughs> I am sorry for what I did. All right, Angel. Which one is better? How how dare you? <laughs> You think it's funny? Yes, I you think, think it's, it's funny. funny. You making me over here look like a dumb. <laughs> I didn't think it was you gonna make a difference. You got me over here looking like a. D 
I didn't think it was gonna bro, make a difference. It makes a difference. I'm over here praising this, like, <laughs> like Jesus came down and touched it himself, and then, and then you have this. It's better. Which one's better, Angel? That one's better. What's wrong with you? <laughs> it's more tender. It's slightly more tender, and the fibers of the actual meat, as you are biting on it, they just completely disintegrate. Here, the fibers are in the long way, and here, they're shorter way. How dare that you? That is way better. Do your picanha right. You know what I did, right? Can you tell what I you did? You did it with that one, but not this one. That's what you did wrong. Yeah. I cut this one against the against grain. Against the grain and, and then it, with the grain. Exactly. But you should have cut them all <laughs> with the grain. Yes. I didn't think it was going to make any difference because of the high marbling that this steak has. We shouldn't call it steak. The queen has, yes? So the, it's so well marbled that I said, it doesn't even matter. But I wanted to show them what it looks like, the marbling. Now, for us to dry age this, put it in the comments below if you want to see it. We're going to make it happen. We're going to sell Angel's car, and we're going to sell your shirts and all that, your shoes, and we'll get another one. We'll dry age it. That way we'll taste it, yeah? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. Remember, if you are interested in anything I use, everything is always in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you guys on the next one because I got to go get his key. No, Take care, that's, everybody. That's bye -bye. Funny because I'm missing some <laughs> shoes and I thought I left them here. Where do you think I got this from? Ah, he's a shoe collector, everybody. Would you rather steak or shoes? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we gotta go. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.